Our next guest is a number one New York Times best-selling author, and he's known as America's favorite storyteller. Mm. He's proud of his new project that features basketball. We welcome writer John Grisham to Virginia this morning. Congratulations on the new book, and welcome back to Virginia this morning. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You know, I know that you're a sports fan, and uh, I don't think you've written anything about basketball before. I know you've covered the other sports. Why basketball and why now? Well, I've been waiting for a long time to get a good story. Uh, I, I, I've wanted to write a basketball novel for a long time. And uh, I had the two football ideas, you know, 20 years ago. I had the baseball idea 10 years ago and just kind of waiting for the a story to come together and it finally all jailed about a year ago when they canceled March Madness and I had to have a basketball fix so I started writing a basketball novel. <laughs> so one good thing out of canceling all of all of that is we got a new John Grisham novel about basketball. There you go. Book. So this is a story about a, a young man named Suli and his story coming from uh, Africa to the United States to play in a tournament, right? Yeah, we meet him. He's 17 years old. He's um, Coming to the U.S., he qualified qualified for the All Star team in South Sudan, where he's from, a very poor country. He's you know he's from a poor village, but he's a really good player, and so he made the team. He wasn't one of the stars. They came here in the summertime to uh, play in a showcase tournament against teams from around the world. And the dream is to be scouted and noticed by American coaches and maybe get a scholarship. And that's kind of the opening few chapters of the book. Yeah. And then things take a really bad turn for him, don't they? While he's here, some terrible things happen back home. His, really, his village is attacked by rebels. His family is scattered. He's not sure where they are, if they are alive. And it's very, it's, you can imagine, it's, he, he, will, he wants to go home. He wants to go home and, and, and find his family, and he can't go home. Wow. There's, no home there's no home left, which is true for most refugees. So, and, so and, and, and then, of course, in typical John Grisham style, you start to unravel all of this and dig a lot deeper. I, I'm just wondering, um, the, the, the cover of the book has you playing basketball uh, <laughs> in a high school gym. Were you ever a serious ball player? I thought I was. I mean, in my, in my own mind, I was a real prospect, but the college coaches never said a word. They couldn't find our driveway, and I never I never got a phone call from a college coach. I actually quit uh, after my junior year. That photograph that everybody's having a lot of fun with is, uh, is me as a junior in high school, and uh, that team was not very good. It was a long season, and I just kind of realized that this career is not going anywhere. I need to... I need to I need to stop and concentrate on baseball. That didn't happen either, so I finally had to give that up. Yeah, I, I reminds me of my first radio job. They asked me if I had any experience doing play by play, and I went, "You bet, man! I called play by play when I was shooting hoops in the backyard all day long." It's Bevins for the three pointer. <laughs> <laughs> didn't work. Didn't, the <laughs> dream, the dreams of kids. <laughs> yeah, definitely so. So, you know, in college basketball, I know you're a UVA fan. I see that one of the UVA banners behind you there. Uh, Tar Heels as well. Um, obviously, this is something that you love and something you've, like you said, you thought about it over the years, and the chance just didn't come up. But it's more than it's it's more than sports, obviously. Our son went to UVA on a baseball scholarship, uh, didn't play much, quit and joined a fraternity. But so he's a he's a he's a he's a true Wahoo. Married a girl from UVA. They live here in town, in Charlottesville. My wife is a Tar Heel. Our daughter is a Tar Heel. Our daughter married a Tar Heel, and she has since given birth to two more Tar Heels, our grandkids. So the family dinner table is, uh, you know, it's pretty lively talking about sports. <laughs> we, we, we follow both teams. We really enjoy both teams. And we've been to regionals and Final Fours. And, you know, it's just it's what we do from December to March. We really, you know, our, our world sort of revolves around college basketball. So, yeah, we're big fans. Yeah. So uh, Suli is, is stuck here. There's civil war back in the Sudan. And uh, you're helping us help him find a way back, I'm guessing. Yeah, his coach uh, of the summer team knows a coach here. They all know each other. He pulls a string or two, and Suli gets a scholarship to a small school in North Carolina, NC Central, the other school in Durham. And he shows up on campus, you know, deeply concerned about his family, and that's his primary concern. He's on a basketball scholarship, but he's going to be redshirted. He's not a great player. 
but he's growing at an alarming rate. And he's, his idea of therapy to get away from his problems is to spend two hours in the gym every morning shooting baskets. That's what he does. And he also likes to pump iron. So he goes to the weight room. His body becomes this uh, specimen. And he, um, he's getting better as a player, growing. And the season starts for Central, uh, get off to a bad start. Uh, there's some injuries. And it's, you know, the season you can see just unraveling. And the coach at one point says, look, we can't stop this kid in practice. Nobody can shut him down. Let's put him in a game. Forget the redshirt stuff. And that's what happens. And that's when the legend of Suli takes off. All right. Can't we wait to read it all. What's the next sport? Is it lacrosse at UVA? <laughs> I don't know that sport. I know <laughs> basketball, football, and baseball. That's all I can write about. So we may be done with sports for a little while. We may be done with sports for a long time. It was an honor talking to you, sir. Big fan. And I can't wait to pick up the book. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thanks for having me, guys. All right. Folks, for more information on John Grisham, please look for a link on our show website later this afternoon, wtvr.com slash VTM. All right. So do you ever find yourself when you're doing an interview thinking, I'm actually talking to John Grisham. I mean, does that happen to you? It's like, I'm, I'm like, I, I was watching it on camera that was taped obviously earlier and I'm watching myself and, and I can see in my brain, I'm, I'm like, calm down. Just think of the next question. <laughs> yes. yes, and it all sort of unfolds in real time. You're like, I'm talking with John Grisham, and then you're like, I'm talking with John Grisham, and he's right there, and he's talking back to me. Oh, my gosh, he just used my name. I yes. know. I was like, he said Bill. I'm like, oh. <laughs> but you know what's great? You had a great conversation with him, as as would be expected. You're talented. He's talented. You're both, you know, it's, it's cool. There's excitement there, the book. But... You just, it's like you're talking with a friend, which yeah. is really cool. Yeah, he was easy. He was, I mean, he, he gave great answers. He, you know, uh, I was listening to him and then he'd stop talking to him. Oh, I actually have to say something. <laughs> yeah. But that was fun. And uh, the book sounds fantastic. Well, duh. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And really cool that John is able to take that time to invest in something that he's super passionate about. That's what a household rivalry will do with, with multiple schools and alma maters. <laughs> I love the fact that he said, my daughter's a Tar Heel. She made a Tar Heel. Then she made two more. <laughs> like, dude, you're outnumbered. <laughs> That's right. The rivalry's getting a little lopsided there. But one thing's for sure, great conversation and congratulations on the book, Mr. John Grisham. Right now you have a chance to be a winner. John Grisham is giving away multiple copies of his brand new book solely to Virginia This Morning viewers. Plus, one grand prize winner will receive a Grisham sports book library consisting of four of his novels. For a chance to win, fill out the form on our Facebook page. It's pinned to the very top of the page. I already won. I got to interview John Grisham. Like, how did you I'm, not I'm win good. this? I'm good. Stay it's tuned. It's still open. It's pinned right there. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>